they've had some experience which tell them that they were going to have difficulties playing, then we have to add a little bit of uh, an extra incentive to get them started. But the rewards we use are usually very simple, very often clapping hands or music, something like that, or, or a special drink that we save for the reward times. The emphasis, as you can hear, is on finding tasks that will be fun for both parents and children. But of course, there can be problems. Sometimes the child refuses absolutely to do what's required, and parents end up tired and frustrated. This is where the backup services are important. Each home advisor meets regularly with a team of specialists, occupational therapists, physiotherapists, psychologists and social workers. If there is a problem, the home advisor can quickly refer the parent on to the appropriate agency or specialist. But it seems that generally, after the first month, when parents and home advisors know each other and initial difficulties have been sorted out, parents find the scheme rewarding and enjoyable. We find that the response from the parents is very positive because they feel out of confidence that what they're doing is useful and is the right thing to do. And they find it helpful for someone to come in and to hear any difficulties that they have and to help them with information and um, extra equipment from our toy library and things like that. I enjoyed doing the task with her. We made games of it. Um, Sue became part of the family, which of course now she's at nursery.
think of asthma as simply an allergic condition. That was a point I put to Dr. Alan Edwards of Fison's Pharmaceuticals. The public reaction to that the law introduced a few months ago today is one of the topics taken up by Deputy Prime Minister Mr. Somerakovsky in an interview for the Polish press agency that has given prominence in all the papers. I am convinced, he said, that martial law was an effect as a local evil as compared to what the Kurdish nation would look at for you. And it seems to me that an increasing number of the Kurdish people share the view that the imposition of martial law forces the intentional or unintentional destruction of the economy and activities aimed at disintegrating the structures of the socialist state. Mr. Rakovsky also said that the practice of government outlined by the military council for national salvation aims at making the program adopted at last year's extraordinary party congress the foundation of social and economic policy. In this reported state agency interview, Deputy Prime Minister Rakovsky also said that despite the national law, the reforms that the think social democracy are being continued and that the political premises of the revival of the trade union movement here will be published shortly. And the future shape of the trade unions is taken out by Professor Jumeiko of the Department of Sociology in the main school of planning and statistics in Warsaw. According to him, who is expressing his views in the Vichy of Manchago, in the social system, the union should play the double role of representing and defending the interests of the broken people and strengthening the social order. The professor speaks in support of pluralism of the labor movement in Poland. In a comment on the Citizens Committee of National Salvation now being established across the country, the United Peasant Party daily, Jimmy Kudavich, stated that there is not only the need 